This YouTube channel pulls in over 18 million views a month. At just $1.00 2 RPM, that's around $36,000 every single month. There's no flashy effects, no cinematic transitions. Sure, it's not exactly easy, but once you build the right editing template, you can crank out videos fast, just like Quits Blitz. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to edit like Quits Blitz. Here's a side-by-side, -side, my edit on the right and Quits Blitz on the left. Creating the template will be the hardest part, but once you have it, it'll go smoothly. Before we begin, I'll leave you a link to the loading bar I created for you. If you'd like it without the eye, I can also provide the link to the original video. I'll also leave you a link to the website where you can find the backgrounds used in the video. If there's no crown icon, you can download them for free. Drag the background video onto the timeline, then hold Alt and drag it to the right to create a copy. Then drag the loading bar to the timeline. Select Chroma Key, and choose the color blue. Now let's play around with the settings a bit to remove the blue color and make our loading bar look as good as possible. I'll go back to basic, make the loading bar a little bigger and drag it to the bottom of the screen. Go to animation and we will find the slide up option there. Set the duration to two seconds. Go to out and select slide down. Set the duration to two seconds again. Now let's quickly take a look at the result before we move on to the next step. Now go to text and add new text via the blue plus sign. Rewrite the text to one, which represents the question number. Choose the text you like. I chose Rubik. Change the text color to red. Scroll down and find background, check it. Change the background color to white. Set rounded rectangle to 100%. And I'll play around with the other settings a bit until I like it. Okay, I'll go up and make the text slightly larger. In the end, I don't like the text font that much, so I'll change it to Obelix, bro. Stretch the text to the entire video. Add text and write a question. Set the font again to Obelix Pro and place it at the top. Play around with the size a bit and adjust the text stroke to make it clearer. Select the last word and change its color, for example, to red. But that is hard to see, so let's change it to blue in this case. Expand the text to cover the entire video and we have the next part ready. Now drag the image to the timeline. Move to the 15th second on the timeline and align the length of the image there. Now resize the image and place it on the left side. Hold Alt and drag the image to a new line to create a copy. Click on the image below and add 3% to the size. Go to Adjust, then Curves and drag a line from the center to the top left corner. This will change the color to white and it will look like the image is in a white frame. Now copy the original image again using Alt and drag up. Crop the new image using Control plus B so that it aligns exactly with the loading bar. I'm going to move the image outside of the two below it so you can see what happens to it. Go to Video and then to Remove BG. Check Auto Removal. You can see that it removed your background. Return the image to its original place. Go to Adjust and drag the line from the center to the lower right corner to turn the image black. The image is quite black, but not completely, so we go to Basic and set Saturation to zero. I'll align it a little more so it fits better with the loading bar. Go to Animation, and in the Out section, check Fade Out. Select all three images and press Alt plus G to create a compound clip. Click on Effect and type Pendulum in the search box. Drag the Play Pendulum onto the compound clip. This will help you create a floating effect. You just need to play around with the settings a bit to get it to work best for you. Click on the clip and go to Animation, and go to the In section and select Zoom In. Let's take a look at what we have so far. It's already a solid foundation. The only thing we're missing now is the text on the right. Hold Alt and drag one to a new lineup to create a copy. Change the text and background color so that the text is white and the background is red. Now I'll rewrite one to A and play around with the size a bit. Add new text and stretch it to the correct length on the timeline. Rewrite the text on the underscore. On the timeline, place the underscore under A. Now play around with the settings a bit to create a white background for the text. Then add new text and write what you want under option A. Quickly change the font and color.
Then all you have to do is match the text to option A. On the timeline, select text, A and underscore and press Alt plus G. Hold Alt and make three copies. Then place them underneath each other. Double click to get inside and you can rewrite the text as you need. Go out via the arrow and edit the last option as well. For each option, go to the animation section, then in and set it to slide left. Now go to the beginning of the timeline and press shift plus right arrow. Move option B to this place and do the same with the last option C. I'll check exactly when the timer ends. It's 9.15. Now I'll look at the options. Option B is correct, and I see that I have a 10 hundredths gap at the beginning because I pressed shift plus right arrow. Double click to get inside option B. Subtract 10 hundredths from 9.15 and we get to 9.05. At this point, click on option B and press Ctrl plus B. Scroll down to where you have set the red color. Add a keyframe with color. Press the right arrow five times and change the color to green. This will make a smooth transition. Go to 915, move into the video and add a keyframe. Move again to 920. Set scale to 120% and play with position. Click on option A and go to 915, add a blend keyframe and go again to 920 and set the blend to 40%. This will cause the wrong answer to fade out when the correct one is shown. Do the same for option C. Align the options so they end at the same time. Click on the compound clip and cut the middle image a bit before the end. Go to Effect and type Explosion. Throw it on that cut piece. Select all three options and create a compound clip using Alt plus G. Type Shake into the Effects search box and throw camera shake on this new compound clip. Set your options like I did so that your elements move slightly and don't look too static. I'll just trim the end of the clip and we finally have the first option ready. Now I'll show you how easy it is to work with this template. Add a new character to your project, click on the compound clip where you have the character, and just drag it to the timeline and overwrite the original image. Then you just need to rewrite options A, B, C, and you have the next question ready. If you found this video helpful, you can support the channel by becoming a member or simply leaving a like and a comment. It really helps a lot. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.